I wake up, flex, thumb down that check, no drip this, what? tell him run it up, no sleep, might crash, might wreck, but first die, stretch, tell him run it up. Yo, 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 what's good? Sock I fit. Peace, love, and light does nation. Welcome or welcome back to another video. So, this video comes by popular demand. A lot of you guys have asked me what do I do on a leg day when I'm at the gym. You guys know that I post a lot of home workout videos, and typically when I post those videos, that's what I'm doing for the day with, of course, some extra auxiliary stuff or whatnot. So, with that being said, man, let's get right into it. This is my high volume leg day. I do this once a week. And then I do another leg focus workout probably a couple of days after this. So I start off with some stability cycles. This is very good at strengthening your knee and getting your balance right, strengthening your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads, all the above. You guys know that I'm not somebody that lifts super heavy too often. The majority of stuff I do is functional because I like to build strong athletic legs that can actually perform. Um, I don't always care about aesthetics too too much you feel me because for me as long as i train like an athlete i look pretty good so i hit these for about three sets of three on each leg going forward side diagonal back and then diagonal again and these joints are so effective at just building strong legs that can balance yourself that can hold yourself up moving on to bosu ball squats and my bad for the wizard kelly <laughs> But I am six for five, so it's kind of hard to get myself in the frame whenever I'm I'm filming. So I hit these joints for like four sets of twelve, and this is great at targeting all of those little stabilizing muscles that get overlooked whenever I'm doing a regular barbell squat or whatever. So I I love to hit these because these joints be like really having me sore, man. Moving on to the actual workout, man. So this is the first exercise, the first working set of the workout and basically i got dumbbell decline front squats i hit these joints for about four sets of 15 and the reason i got my feet so narrow is because i'm targeting the vmo basis medialis whatever you want to call it i'm not trying to get too scientific for y'all um but basically it's the teardrop muscle on your quad so i'm focusing on strengthening every muscle around my knee and then I superset this joint up. You feel me? Let's get this, buddy. I superset this joint up with some single leg kettlebell glute bridge. And I do four, four sets of 12. Again, this is a high volume workout. And as you're going to see on the last rep, on the 12th rep, I'm going to pause and hold it up for like 10 seconds. Contract my glute. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, listen. This is why the ladies love me. You feel me? This is why I love my butt, man. Because I train my glutes. And as an athlete, it's so important that you train your glutes because this is where the power comes from. A lot of you want hops and you want to jump high and be fast and explosive, but you're not training your glutes. It's not just for women. I'm telling you right now, the way I was able to dunk on people is because I was training my glutes. All right, so moving on to block B, I got some single leg Bulgarian split squats and I hit these for four sets of 10 on some of these. You're gonna see me go down slowly and basically what I'm doing is I'm counting down to two so one two or one two three and I'm training my body how to how to be able to control weight and then explode up and then on other reps I'm just going fast I just like to do little tricks and just work out my body in different ways and then I superset that with some box jumps. I do it right after the squats, no break, because I want to train my body to be able to still perform and jump after having stress on it, basically. You know what I mean? So I hit these up, light work, nothing too crazy. You know what I mean? Boom. And then after that, I go right into my snatch. Now again, nothing too heavy, nothing too crazy. This is basically just to train my CNS, AKA central nervous system. I, I do this to make sure that my hips are still exploding properly. I like to train in a way that I'm making sure that I'm still strong, athletic, and functional. So I'm just giving a nice little explosion off the hips, making sure that everything is straight, man. You know what I'm saying? So for me personally, I don't train too, too heavy, man. I just like to make sure that I'm functional and I'm durable. And then I super set this up with some single leg RDLs. Four times 12, again, a lot of volume. But I do this workout 
one time a week if you guys want to want to do the same workout i'm gonna put it down below in the description moving on to the next block we got single leg leg press man so i'm doing four times 12 so 12 reps on left leg right leg and then 12 double and the reason i got my foot placed where i got it is because again i'm targeting that teardrop the vastus medialis all the muscles around my knee gotta be strong that's what i'm focusing on with this specific workout is making sure that my knees are strong and that my body can perform man you know what i'm saying bang it out bang it out good money right there and after that i superset that with a 60 second jump rope just to keep my body moving every time i lift weights i want to make sure that i'm not just lifting weights but that i can actually i can actually move after lifting the weights that's how I personally like to train, you feel me? Like a lot of y'all be mad buff, but y'all can't wipe your ass, you feel me? Like you can't move. And then next, I got some auxiliary work with the leg extension, four times 15 on the left leg, you know what I'm saying? 15 on the right leg, and then 15 on double. And I got my feet placed outward because that targets, again, the VMO, the teardrop. I do four sets, 15, 12, 10, and then eight, you know what I'm saying, light work. And then finally, I hit the calves, and I do about four sets of 15 on left, right, and then double. I don't try to kill my calves because I run so much during the week and I'm doing sprinting and so many different exercises that if I kill my calves, that's going to affect the running that I do. So I try not to go too crazy, man. You feel me? But that that's honestly pretty much the whole workout is simple. This is what I do once a week to build strong athletic legs man and i train in a way that keeps me functional it keeps me strong and it keeps me durable i'm all about longevity so this is what i do if you want to try this out again i'm gonna link it down below but i'll catch y'all in the next one man i'm out peace